For you Browns fans that uh, don't know what's going on with the Cleveland Browns and why Kevin Stefanski suddenly turned into this uh, incompetent head coach, not that he wasn't incompetent before, but uh, this year especially, he's been the worst coach we've ever had. We, have you ever noticed Kevin Stefanski is making some of the most bizarre coaching decisions this year? And it's not just one or two. It's like four or five a game. That is the move of a guy that doesn't understand football. That is Paul DePotesta. Here's what's going on. You guys don't understand. I, we need this to get out because Jimmy Haslam's oblivious to it. It's called the Ivy Code. It's an experiment. They're experiment with the Cleveland Browns. They don't want to draft defensive tackles. They don't. I mean, they don't want to get defensive tackles. They feel they don't need it. They're trying to reinvent the way football a team is constructed, and now they're using analytics to call the football game. They are literally using analytical formulas for their play calls during the course of a football game. Let's look at last year. The 20-yard box. Remember Stefanski's 20-yard box offense that I used to bitch about all the time? Our offense didn't go downfield. We never stretched the field. It was a 20-yard fucking box. Well, now look at it. We have a journeyman backup who's not even as good as Baker Mayfield. For all intents and purposes, he's not even as good as Baker Mayfield. And he's throwing the ball all around the field, all around the yard with a journeyman backup. Where's the 20-yard box at this year? You know why? Analytics tells you you got to stretch the field. Paul DePotesta. That is what's going on, people. And the sooner you realize this and get this out to Tony Grossi and Mary Kay Cabot, it's destroying the Cleveland. Because, listen, I never liked Stefanski. Never. But he's never been this horrific of a football coach. And it's just, if you start thinking about it, what I've been telling you, start thinking about everything. You remember the Kansas City Chiefs playoff game? He called the... Seven of the most conservative play calls ever. We had a chance to win that game, but he, we never got the ball back. Remember that? I was bitching about it. It was on Stefanski. This year, we're in game-time situations. He's having Jacoby Brissett throwing a deep ball. He doesn't care. The 20-yard box doesn't exist. Now, what happened overnight? What happened since last year, the 20-yard box? Did Kevin Stefanski? I mean, is he running the Deshaun Watson offense right now with a career backup? If that's the case, then this guy's truly incompetent. You have to suit your offense around the quarterback that you have. But I truly believe Paul DePotesta is using his analytical formula to call plays in Kevin Stefanski's air. Remember when we lost against the Chargers, Stefanski was smiling. He had that look on his face like, I'm doing something that I shouldn't be doing, but I'm forced to do it. And what I mean by that is I believe... Because if you notice, Depot Testa has been here since 2015, and he's, everyone's got fired but him. I think he's told them guys, don't worry, you're not going to get fired. And if you go back to when Jimmy Haslam blew the analytics, remember Jimmy Haslam got tired of the analytics and he brought in John Dorsey, and we got Mayfield, and that was a mistake. We should have drafted Josh Allen. Well, anyway, John Dorsey got kicked out by Paul Depot Testa because he hired Freddie Kitchens. I think Jimmy Haslam was getting rid of the analytical formula. That's why he brought Dorsey in. Got a football guy to make football picks, and then they got rid of Dorsey after he picked uh, Freddie Kitchens to be the coach. And Paul DePotesta said, "I told you, Jimmy, you got to give it time." So now Stefanski is—I mean, if you look at Stefanski, he's always in one spot on that field. He's not walking the sideline. He's always in one spot. It's probably for better communication or something. I don't know, but I'm telling you, Paul DePotesta is making the—he's—he's he's coaching the team on Sundays. He is because Kevin Stefanski was never this bad, never this horrific of a play caller, never. The twenty-yard box—we wish we seen it now. Nick Chubb. Where's the Nick Chubb of last year getting all these carries or whatever? The 20-yard box is gone. Nick Chubb is not even a viable option anymore because they don't use him. So you have to look at what I'm telling you right now. Paul D. is making the play calls on this team. There's no way Kevin Stefanski would have done that last week. Trust me. He would have never went deep down at the end of the game. And I think Stefanski, if you look at his pressers, he's a guy that's given these answers. You could tell he's in excruciation pain because he wants to come out and say, listen, this isn't me. This is Deepo Testa. I'm just doing what I'm told. That's what he wants to come out and say. I truly believe that. And you got to fire Deepo Testa, but you also have to fire Stefanski because any coach that allows this to happen to him, he's not worth your, uh, he's not worth anything. I'm sorry. Stefanski basically did this to himself by listening to Deepo Testa. You can't tell me that this is a uh, Kevin Stefanski making these pl play calls on You can't. You can't tell me. Stefanski was not this bad of a coach. And we're not talking one or two bad calls a game. We're talking five to seven, to maybe eight. That is Depot Desta making these calls. So Jimmy has him. You got to wake up. Mary Kay Cabot, Tony Gross, you got to start looking into this Ivy Coat thing. This is all Paul Depot Desta.
That's what this is. He's doing all this. This isn't Stefanski. Stefanski didn't wake up overnight and start throwing the ball all over the yard with the journeyman backup quarterback when he had a 20-yard box last year. It didn't happen. And I do believe this started last year against the um, Green Bay Packers. If you notice, usually Stefanski would run the ball in late in the game, but he's kept throwing it. I think this started last year. I think Deepo Testa said, all right, I'm taking control of the helms. And this year, the 20-yard box is gone. It is gone, and God damn it, I wish we had the 20-yard box because we'd be 5-2, and 6-1, and 7-0. And it's even affected the defensive play calling, if you look at it. These guys, uh, all the mistakes they had on defense, that's analytics. These guys are running around like, what are we, that's analytics for you. So, because they're used to playing a certain defense in certain situations, but analytics has them playing something else. They're like, what are we, do, what are we doing here? It's all analytic. It's all analytically driven, and it's all Paul D. Podesta. Paul D. Podesta has to be fired from the Cleveland Browns. And I also believe that Jim Donovan was suspended for uh, criticizing the Cleveland Browns a couple weeks ago. They said it was laryngitis, but... Cleveland, we have a problem, or people, we have a problem in Cleveland. You guys got to wake up. Paul DeBodesta has ruined this organization with his analytical uh, approach and what he's doing to Stefanski right now. Stefanski is not this bad of a coach. He's not a good coach, but he's not this bad. Oh, my God. He's being puppetized by DePodesta. I believe DePodesta's in his hair making these calls. I truly believe it. If that's not the case, then Kevin Stefanski's truly the worst coach we could have ever hired. Because the 20-yard box, the most conservative offensive play call we have ever had, where's he at? This guy never went for stuff like he's doing this year. Never. Now he's just like Brandon Staley all of a sudden. That's deep test in his analytics. Like the other day when he went for it on third and two. The analytics will say, in this in this situation, the defense is going to be playing run. And we'll, we'll have a 76% chance of getting a long ball, uh, pass off. And they did it. And it was pass interference. And it was a terrible call. So uh let's get this out to Tony Grossi. Let's I mean you gotta start thinking. We need to get this out so Jimmy Haslam can wake up and look at it and say, you know what? This is this is killing my team. The players know it. Why do you think all these players meet and all these players fighting? They know what's going on. The players know exactly what's going on in Cleveland. And they're not happy about it. And I think Stefanski wants to come out and say, Listen, this isn't me, but I think he's almost so far deep into it that uh He's got loyalty to uh, D. Bodesta because D. Bodesta is an Ivy Leaguer like him. So it's an Ivy Code. That's why it's called the Ivy Code. We have a severe problem in Cleveland, people. And we need to get this out there because uh, the season's still salvageable. But not with D. Bodesta around or Kevin Stefanski under the tutelage and guides of D. Bodesta's strings. I'm a genius.